I'm just gonna throw the GoPro on straight away and warm up with you guys. I've literally not done one single trick today. What's the warm up trick gonna be? No! Second try. Kind of. Do I get extra points because I rolled onto the grass? Or does that just make it not count? Either way, we're gonna redo it. Two in a row. A little bit more sketchy, but don't care, two in a row. I just wanna get one clean one. Tell you what, we'll set up the other camera, get another wrangle on it because it's kinda cool. This is one of my favorite noises in the world. The click of the tripod, I don't know why. For this trick, there's not really a good place to set my camera up. This is probably the best angle I can get. And I hope my camera does not fall off this sketchy, sketchy tripod setup. <laughs> nah, I don't even trust it on its own. I'm putting my hoodie down as well. What tricks do you guys have? From Luke, enter second name here, half cab PO, it's my favorite rotation. I'll get that for you right now. Okay. Oh my god. I used to do this trick so much, but I've not done it that much recently. Because I had like a phase where every time I would try it, I would get like the worst popsicle. Or like, whatever you call that thing. It would go up my ass, and it was really sore. But then sometimes I would get it clean like that. And when that happens, it's one of my favorite tricks too. Air over the spine, air over the spine. A lot of you guys want me to air over the spine, but I don't really want to do that. I'll probably make a video pretty soon of me just, just getting the bow for a whole video. From Jimmy Sha, do a heel flip off something. God, I really don't want to, but I'll do it off this ledge right here. The half cap heel is pretty cool, but just a straight up heel flip is like my least favorite trick. But first try. Oh my God. Oh my god, for me it's just so sketchy. Oh, <laughs> only time you're ever gonna see me heel flip down something. Backside, board slide, shove it out. I've never done one of these. I did try to do it on the show the other day, but because it's got a curve on the end, I kept like half flipping it out and I couldn't land on it. We'll try to get it on the square rail, might make it a bit easier. Whoa, I think that's it. I watched a video recently, someone says it's kind of like if you do like a board slide 180 but then treat it like a sex change out like a sex change out of that makes it a little bit easier Not too sure how you actually pronounce your name but George Poulos I also noticed you ear subscribed to me What's up George? Let's see if your technique works Oh, two feet on Come on Oh Nice. I've been wanting to do that trick for ages. Thank you for commenting it. And thank you, George, for the tip. It really helped. Your boy's got it on lock. 
No comply finger flip. I used to do this, but I've not done it in like probably years. Weird trick, it always hurts my hand as well. My board is so fucked. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I'm only doing that once, so that kind of hurts my fingers. Big flip on the hip, coming right up. I've actually not done this trick in a while. It's been ages since I've done this trick. I'm always scared that with this trick I'm gonna miss my front foot, kick the board up and it's gonna attack me in the face. <laughs> so weird. The boy wants me to do a nollie 360 flip. Don't want to do that, but also fakey front side flip over the hip. I got that for you. <laughs> oh my god. No! And it's out the skate park. I swear, every single time I kick my board out, it avoids everything in the park or it hits something, but it always ends up rolling out the path. I'll do the normal half cab flip over. I've not had a drink this whole session, mainly because I kind of wait until I'm very dehydrated because it makes the drink like 10 times better. That is going to be the best drink I'm going to have all day. It's amazing. But right now we're going to go back to the house and I'm going to talk about what I think of these two shoes. The checkerboard slip-ons and then the Janoski slip-on. And now we are back at the house. So first off, we're going to talk about how long these shoes lasted because I think that's the most important thing when you're thinking about buying a new pair of shoes. So the Janoskis are made out of suede and then the Vans are made out of canvas, but for some reason, the canvas lasted me way longer than what the Janoskis did. These lasted me for about two sessions before I started getting a hole in them here and then at the front. And then like two sessions after that, they were unskatable unless I wanted to put some shoe glue on them, which I didn't because I had the Vans. I had the Vans sitting in my house. And now these Vans are starting to get holes in them after 20 days which doesn't seem like a long time but I've been skating these every single day so that's like 20 sessions these have lasted me compared to the Janoskis which only lasted me like four so you could say these canvas shoes held up four times longer than what the suede Janoskis did it's all because even though they're made out of canvas there's a bunch of extra rubber layers underneath it to make it last longer my favorite thing about Vans is just how comfy they are and how well they fit my feet they also have the best insole I've ever found in than any skate shoe. It's just super comfy and it feels really good on your feet. And then on the Janoskis, the insole is not as good and you also can't take it out, it's glued in there, so you can't change it even if you want to. The soles of the shoe are both really good. I like that these are white and then the whole time I was skating them, they didn't really wear down whatsoever, but they're not as grippy as the Vans ones are. These just feel really good to skate and they grip your board so well. The Vans ones do wear down a little bit more, but in my whole time skating Vans, I've never worn down the sole of the shoe quicker than I wore down the top of it. So the sole has never really been a problem for me. The biggest thing I was worried about when I thought about skating slip-ons was I thought the elastic on them was going to kind of stretch out a little bit too much and they were going to start falling off my feet and then I wouldn't have any shoelaces to tie them any tighter. But the elastic on both of them is still holding up. They have stretched out a little bit but it's not too much. If anything they're just more comfier than they were when I first got them. I still like the look of the Janoskis. They are good to skate but I just think they're more of a shoe for people who don't really skate that much. There's definitely shoes you can buy that are gonna last longer than these but I still think these are a really good buy for just how comfy they are and how good I think they skate. And that's where I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments which one your guys' favorite is. If you like Nike or if you like fans. Let me know what your guys' favorite company is and also which shoe is your favorite from both of them. I also want to thank you guys for your comments and your trick suggestions at the start of this video. I'm sorry if I miss your guys' comment or your trick, but when I'm doing these videos, it's just quite hard to get to all the tricks. I get way more comments than I think I'm going to get. There's just not enough time in one session to get to them all. But if there's a trick you guys want to see me do, just comment it down below and I'll try to get to it in the next POV video. I'm ending today's video up there. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new and check back in two days for the next video. I'll see you then. Goodbye.